Sugarland Treats. Now, y'all know on this channel, we believe in putting people that just starting a business or we believe in like elevating people in their business. Now, this young lady is a young entrepreneur. She actually makes snacks. Mm, it look good just looking at it already. Contact this young lady. Now, her contact is below. This is her contact. Contact her on all her social medias or even call her number. Hey, welcome to the first episode of Up Next TV. As I said, I created this platform for my city. I live in Memphis, Tennessee, bro. With like, I, I love my city very much. And I see a lot of talent in my city, like from comedians, entrepreneurs, mainly my rappers. So on this channel, we're going to be going over all, we're going to be interviewing people of all types. We're going to be interviewing business owners. Uh, we're going to be interviewing comedians. We're going to be interviewing a lot of these rappers, man, putting them to a bigger audience. So help me help you run this channel so I can help my city and the t people in my city that got talent get exposed to a bigger audience. Now on this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to go over Top five artists in Memphis that has passed away too soon. Top five artists in Memphis that has passed away too soon. So I know you want to see this video, bro. We're going to get you into this video. Stay tuned. Let's go. All right, so number one, guys, we got YNC Capo. Now, for you guys that don't know what YNC stands for, YNC actually stands for Youngers in Charge. Now, a lot of you guys may know YNC keep, uh, Capo for his hit song, Feeling Like Kivo, which reached over 8 million views on YouTube. 8 million views on YouTube, man. Now, I actually know why I see Capo as Malik because I actually went to high school with this guy, man. And one thing I can say about why I see Capo is, man, like he created a name for himself before he left this earth. He, 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 man, he showcased his true talents on to, to the internet, to the world. And, man, like he wasn't even, he was, he was still local a little bit, man. Like he wasn't even worldwide. He, did, he wasn't even as big as he's supposed to be because his life was taken away at 20 years old. Now, his life was actually taken away over a car. And the crazy part about this is, man, like, the car that they had actually took for him, they had found this car in the, in Memphis, Tennessee, less than 24 hours. Because let's not forget, he was killed in his home city, Memphis, Tennessee, bro. He was killed in Memphis, Tennessee, bro. And I'm just going to say this, man. Like, I hate that it happened, bro. Like, when I first heard the news, I was devastated because, man, you didn't really hear about Capo beefing with nobody. You didn't, you didn't really hear about him hating on nobody. He stayed in his own lane. And he, man, he pushed YNC, like, to the fullest. He pushed Youngers in Charge to the fullest. So, man, it's very sad to, for me me to be announcing this bro but he was a very talented young man i have no doubt in my mind that he would have rose to be something greater than what he was but sadly his life was taken away but his legacy would, would forever live on r.p to ync capo playing with that boy he's not one of them Hi boy. Now y'all know I cannot forget about my boy Hot Boy Juice. Man, Hot Boy Juice was a very talented brother. The Hoover man. Bro, Hot Boy Juice was very talented. Like, can't nobody take that away from Hot Boy Juice. One thing that I like about Hot Boy Juice, Hot Boy Juice had his own style. Hot Boy Juice had his own flow. Like, can nobody still? Hot Boy Juice was Hot Boy Juice. This one thing that I loved about Hot Boy Juice. One of my favorite songs of Hot Boy Juice was called Straight Drop 2. Bro, I can keep going on and on. I like a song by him called News or something. I like Jersey, bro. Hot Boy Juice was t very talented. Sadly, his life was cut short. I'm not exactly sure how Hot Boy Juice's life was cut short. I just hate that Hot Boy Juice's life was cut short. Now, you can go look him up on uh, YouTube. And actually, he actually got a mixtape on Spin Real about the name of Criminal Minds. Go check that out. R.P. to Hot Boy Juice, man. Hot boy Jew be raising head flat, y'all dropping y'all flat. If a nigga say he know me, swear I'm clutching on his ass. See a op, I in traffic, swear I'm buzzing on his ass. It no discussion on my black. I fucked the op, she fat cat. Goddamn! Everybody know who the Catch your body, finna go and catch your body. Hit him with the daddy, did I mention it's a body of a nigga run up on me? I'ma wear him like a dozen. Now, secondly, we got PSO Emmett. Now, a lot of you guys may know PSO Emmett, but PSO Emmett, real name is Emmett Beasley. But his rapping entertainment night that he went by was PSO Emmett. Now, this young man was only 16 years old and he lost his life. Now, the crazy and the most devastating part about how PSO Emmett lost his life, he actually lost his life at a funeral. He was burying another young man and he lost his life in the process of doing it.
Now, I know a lot of you guys might be asking, what is PSO? PSO, what do PSO stand for? PSO stand for presidential shit only. That is what it stand for. PSO Emmett actually has a couple songs on YouTube, so go search his name up and check him out. I mean, the young man was on his way to the top. Rest in peace to PSO Emmett. Now next we got Murder Bryson. Now Murder Bryson was only 22 years old. Now you can go look up Murder Bryson on YouTube, but let's not forget. Now Murder Bryson, he was literally at his peak. Like Murder Bryson was just starting. But he got a song called Hellcat and he got 309k views. Murder Bryson was for showing his way to the top, bro. Now how he died, I'm not sure exactly how he died. I'm just gonna say this. I hate that whatever happened to him happened. All right, Peter Murder Bryson. Now, y'all know I can leave my boy out. J Money Trula. Now, J Money Trula was only 20 years old. He lost his life in Memphis back in 2016, unfortunately, after leaving a nightclub. J Money Trula was for showing his way to the top. Now, let's not forget about some of his songs. She had thought. I'm rolling with the gang, Lord knows. I mean, it was a lot of songs that got me on J Money Truler back in 2016. I was still a high school student. I was bumping J Money Truler. Now, for you guys that don't know what Trula is, Trula is a street gang that was made up in Memphis, Tennessee. Trula Mafia, TM. Man, RIP to J Money Truler, bro, man. I hate that that happened to you. Now, he was for sure on his way to the top. J Money Truler was actually affiliated with Chief Keith. He had ties with Chief Keith. I won't necessarily say he was signed to Chief Keith, but Chief Keith knew about him. Chief Keith was fucking with J Money Truler, man. RIP to J Money Truler. Yeah, man, we ain't had now. We ride now. We ain't run from this shit. We ride to this shit. You hear me? This shit go down, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Hey, K Lab. We all go. Rumble in the jungle, nigga. I'm from Mika T. All my niggas got the chopper. Yeah, we getting it in. A hundred niggas. That's 200 feet. I sent my trail car. Nigga, they done sweep your screen. Truly, truly, do the good of them the gang, man. I love my gang. Fuck the fight.